showtime. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's already getting humid out there. A lot of hot air in the studio already, too. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Let's head over to the kitchen where the hottest area is. Yeah, I think I was going to take my shirt off this morning. Then. Yeah, off yeah, this yeah. Morning. yeah. Huh? Easy. Show off the six-pack. Actually, Easy. it's a one-pack on its way to a six-pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM. We're honored today to have one of the first people we ever met when we yes. came over and started in this studio here, Miss Kim Hodges this morning. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. Yeah, I'm one of the top realtors in the state of United States this morning. <laughs> I, I would like to think Yeah. That. <laughs> you're here today talking about something special that you're uh, got going on. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Joseph, good to have you back here. You through yes, celebrating sir. your birthday? Uh, well... No. Uh, my mom came over last night and we celebrated again. All right. And Greg, is Fine Bob staying or ain't he? He's staying. So you're going to be meeting personally with him one on one. Yeah. Hey, we got that's an exclusive because really? Fine Bob hasn't come out and announced it yet. So, so. Uh -huh. but you have a one on one meeting with him. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 Okay. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, too. All right. And Amy, this morning, all right, the art of frying squash. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Somebody always says, you know, baked squash, you know, if you do baked squash, it kind of sucks, right? It does. Yeah, so <laughs> the only way to do it, so you're going to fry it up today your grandma's way, right? Exactly, yes. And next week, hopefully, we're going to eat oak fried okra cake. What? Yeah. Okra cakes. I'm not okra or like squash. Crab fried cakes. okra I'm not cake. Uh, patties. Huh? Patties. Oh. Patties. Like salmon patties, Zach. That's Zach, how many days is it to kick off? I don't know, but when media day starts, to me, that's ready for football. So Monday, the start of football season. You sure? Yeah. And it, can, I just can't believe they're moving media days from Birmingham to Atlanta. That's just, that that's just not right. No, it's it'll be back in Hoover next year. Okay. <laughs> he, he's got he's a wealth of information. Got it, Skip's you heard got that here first. Yeah, you heard that here first. That's <laughs> yeah. All right, let me tell y'all. Y'all know it's been a sad week for us. Our dog died. We had to put him, uh, Dr. Pittman, uh, Sunday after church. So it's been just horrible. Mm. And, I, and all you people that we talk to about pets now, I'll tell you what. When my parents died, I didn't suffer this much. This is being like oh, killing me. But let me tell you something else that's sad today. Ain't that sad. Ain't nowhere near that I got, a, I got a new newspaper carrier for the Decatur Daily. Y'all know where my paper is this morning? Somewhere on the roof. In, in Not in my house. In Hartson. <laughs> I used to get for 12 years, I've got that dude delivered out front by 2.30 every morning. Well, you better talk nicer. It'll be like And now, <laughs> it's nowhere to be seen. And y'all know me. I've got to read a newspaper. You get it 2 o'clock this afternoon. I got the jitters this morning. <laughs> No, that's the, the news gym. career. But it's anyway, <laughs> I was going to say, all you people that have lost pets, hey, I feel Classless your pain. news to carry. Oh, this is killing me. Yeah, hey, don't look at me, Brad. Y'all don't brag my dog. <laughs> hey, your dog got electrocuted by a squirrel 28 years ago. That's 48 years ago, years ago but y'all still <laughs> bring it up. Let it go. Man, y'all don't quit talking about my dog. <laughs> my dog was a person. Your name is Barry, 28 not years ago, his was too, to him. Yeah, it still, it still means a lot to me. Come on. Okay, I'm going to tell one other dog story, and I'll let this oh, go. come on, bro. Don't do it, Jamie. All right, y'all know where the Coon Dog Cemetery is, right? Y'all yes. yes. been there. Mm -hmm. I'm the only person ever to interview the man who started that. I remember that story. Started that. Country over story, I think 1980s, whatever, back when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I, Troop, old Troop was the first dog ever buried, and it, the whole thing's done after him. Mm -hmm. And in the interview, Kim, what he said, I said, do you miss him? He said, quote, I miss him every day. Mm. And that dude died in the 40s. Y'all yeah, going to miss Zorro. I mean, Shut up, Zach. Right. Thanks for bringing that up. Well, y'all brought Bear up, so I just thought that. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up, Zach. I said, y'all going to miss him. I, saw I miss seat. him already. Yeah. Matter of fact, it's been good having you up here, Zach. Let's go to sports <laughs> right now. Here's Gloria with the weather. I mean, it's weather. Zach, Zach's not going anywhere. Only to raw squash. Zach's 
not going anywhere. 72 degrees out there already this morning. Things are going to warm up quite nicely. Actually, today only 20% chance of rain in the forecast, which is a good thing because we have a chance of rain in the forecast every day this week, but only 20% today, then that jumps up to 50% tomorrow. Temperatures around sticking around the same in the 90s, low 90s, that is. 80, upper 80s, low 90s, that's it right there. Do want to remind you, savewithgloria.com, if you're looking for a mortgage refinance, want to pre-qualify, or even new construction loans, we can help you out. Just go to that site. It's simple process, or you can give me a call, 603-4848. You going to make it? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, Kim, do you realtors ever get thirsty when you're out? <laughs> oh, James. No, don't do that, James. Don't, don't even do talk it. to him about really? this. I, I've been forewarned. <laughs> we know what Joseph does for a living. How are you, Greg? Good to see you this morning. Good morning. <laughs> Joseph is a chem not only an actor, but he's also a chemist. And his job literally is to turn urine into yeah, water. I do. For the astronauts. For the astronauts. I mean, that's why he's really, he's a lot smarter than he that's looks. It, that's impressive. Well, somebody <laughs> has to do it. Right? So, I mean, it is impressive. So we came yeah. up with our own. We no, got, we did. BP2 water. Oh, my goodness. I mean, goodness. really, we, there it is right there. <laughs> and this stuff is, it's an he says it's pretty good. I don't know. I told him I didn't think it had been filtered enough. <laughs> yeah, that, that color right yeah, there. <laughs> His, his, uh, okay, I spilled it on me. I did not pee on myself. I spilled the water on me. So now we're, we're starting to bottle that. Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to make you. You I, and Joseph I, I, are I, hurting I, for a yeah. company. I'm, oh, it's I'm good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. <laughs> not going there. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. My oh. goodness. And Joseph. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fresh. Hey, I heard from David Turner. I, I texted David Turner this morning at 3 o'clock. I said, you got that minivan rolling? Oh, he takes goodness. back. We're almost in Montgomery. So. That was so he got a long way to go. So he's on his way down. Yeah, he's on his way down. Yeah. All right, That's Greg, funny. you're telling me that Fine Bomb is a stay -in. It's exclusive yeah, right now on this live morning program seen by millions worldwide. Did he tell you that, or is that your opinion? That's my opinion. <clears throat> okay. He, the, he's going to stay. It, it's... You know, all this write up and stuff, you know, they've had some management turnover at ESPN, and so um, it hasn't been their top priority like most of us would think it should be. Uh, but at the end of the day, he's going to be well, there. That's what Skip. Can you imagine? Screw fine, Bob. What well, happened to the, uh, the good looking blonde that used to be on there with him? <laughs> Laura Rutledge? She's yeah. on the uh, news rotation now. She's on ESPN. sports. She was on Sunday morning sports center. I saw she her. Yeah. She's, oh, on she's off Center. She's on SEC Network again? Yeah, she does uh, occasional things with them, and she did the baseball World Series. Yeah, I saw that. And she's the scared. softball, but she is now a mainliner on, on Sports Center. Well, how are we supposed to get used to looking at good looking blondes on there? They'll find another one. And that, yeah, that, they'll, that find they'll find girl, another one. Brunel was going to come here and go, I saw her on CNN the other day. Yeah, he just hired the... Well, they got Lauren Sisler. She's kind of filling in now on occasion. Okay. So, she's she no Laura, right? com. No, there's only one Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of sports, let's go to the man right now. We need a whole bucket of fried squash, livers, oh, and everything. Yeah. Squash, yeah. no. Come on. Down to <laughs> KFC. <laughs> Welcome to ZTV 11 Sports brought to you by KFC, the best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. Hey, speaking, hey, they're, hey, they're looking for more news uh, sports casters at Channel 19. Maybe I need to use this as a promo to send to them, Brad, so make it look good today, Brad. Why don't you apply, I'll, I'll send Yeah, Channel 19, they lost both their sports. Uh, lost or got shut up? They, they let, one went to Texas and uh, Taylor went to uh, Indianapolis, so... They got Britton Lynn, they got, she's a blonde. They, she's the new sports director at Channel 19. I guess the first sports director in North Alabama that I could ever remember. Amy can make you a blonde. So, make me a blonde. Mm -hmm. I'm already got gray, I already got some kind of blonde <laughs> with my gray, so. Hey, uh, got a mention yard sale tomorrow and no. Saturday. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. So that hopefully, like hopefully no rain, Gloria. <laughs> 103 Hammond Street, Friday oh, and Saturday. Charles, a little rough. Yeah, it looks just like me. Hey, uh, if you're out and about tonight in Tanner, 6 o'clock, Tanner Gym, they're going to have Meet the Rattlers. You can meet new football coach Oscar Bonds. And he'll have his coaches and players there. And also, I guess you can meet the new principal there, too. So, so it's Meet the Rattlers tonight at 6 o'clock at, at Tanner. So get out there and see them. Um, T 
Tim Tebow, this for you, Joe Carlichus from New York New City. New York City? Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't hey, do it right. Hey, slipping on me. Oh, sorry. But, uh, yeah, y'all was, y'all was, <laughs> let me try this again. New York City. New, New York, York City. City. There you go. <laughs> well, he actually. Man, you know, getting all this, you know how to play a lot of Hey, in the All-Star game, he got a double last night, his first at bat. So, I know Carlichus was all excited about that. So, you know. hey, the Braves come back and won one last night. They was winning seven to nothing, and they about blew it, but they held on nine to five. So good job with them. Hey, former Alabama uh, assistant and USC head coach Steve Sarkeesian lost thirty me lost his thirty million dollar lawsuit over his firing. They said, "Get lost, you're not getting the money." So, and hey, uh, they talk about different people to replace Terrell Lewis. But I'm telling you, I, I was listening to Cole Kiblick and those guys yesterday, and, and you know, this is a major loss for Alabama because he was the best pass rusher. So mm -hmm. we will see what happens. Here in the upcoming season, I guess we'll find out a lot more. Skip's going down to media day, so he'll be our our yeah, cover man there. down there. So, uh, oh, man so the maybe he can get exclusive with Paul Feinbaum while yeah. he's down there, right. and Nick Saban. Right. Back to you, Jamie. Thank you, Zach, for that great introduction. <laughs> back to you, Jamie. Y'all, hang on. We'll be back. In another. <laughs> We're gonna play Judge Jamie. We got some special. Amanda, you're warmed up. You're ready to play. <laughs> so, like, just ready. a moment, y'all. Hang on. <laughs> The astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever join here again. Judge Jamie. Okay, here we go. And worldwide. And brought to you by Zeke. Down at One Love here, if you can. You hear me now? Nope. Yep, if you can't, you need to go. He's got multiple locations. The main one here in Athens in North Alabama. Ah, oh, I've got two new players up here. Didn't we play last time you were here, Kim? No, I haven't. She's I nervous. Right. Right. Amanda, good, good morning. Good to have you up Thank here. Thank you. This good is morning. the way we play. This is the wrong answer. It's the right answer. Greg's a mull. He's probably won more chanting up here than anybody else. 17. He holds the record. Oh, wow. Over on set two, Amy this morning. And Joseph Scott, he's won two. Amy, I don't know if you ever won or not. We'll say I have. Well, <laughs> Amy also does the hair, hairdresser to the stars up here, too. All right, here we go. I ask questions. You don't have to really hold those up. Just shout out if you know the answer. What is a Direco? I do. Direco? Direco. What? what? Can I, I get my know. phone? Dinosaur. No, okay. cell phones are not allowed. And any use what? of electronic devices is ineligible on the program. You're oh. immediate disqualified. Oh, I'm telling you, that's a good happened That here. might be a way to get this out of this out of, game. This is out of AL.com. A Direco happened here a week ago, knocked us off the air for a day. It is a oh, storm. It happens once every 10 years. Oh, winds oh, got up yeah. last Thursday, uh, two Thursdays ago, wasn't it? Two weeks ago, yeah. right? The winds. Knocked the power off. Power storm came up. Is that El Nino? Yeah. <laughs> they name him? El Redneco. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Everybody has seen that little flower thing down across from Isom's Orchard. Yes, the sunflowers. Yes. How much? You go out and pick your own flowers. This is how the news courier, my favorite newspaper. Uh, <laughs> they've been so kind to us. Yeah. <laughs> how much does a sunflower cost? Five dollars. Three for ten dollars. Ten dollars. I'll let man have that close enough. One fifty oh, each. Right. One fifty each. Wow. Good. 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 I'm buying the new. Slug. All right, Zach said the question: Are we gonna get a new dog? No, I've, I've decided to go a different route and put in our backyard to go along with the goats and horses along in the back. I know. You're getting an alpaca. Oh, what well, alpaca? An alpaca. No, they they got one in Moulton. What am I getting? Now keep in mind. A camel. Keep in mind. I had two jackasses growing up Llama. in New Hope. You're getting an elephant. Llama. You're getting yeah. a zebra. Yeah, you're. Oh, that's a zebra. Are you really? You wrote zebra. One? I wrote a zebra. Yeah, you did. I'm actually getting a Z donk. There it is, right the there. That is the, it is a cross between a jackass and a zebra. Look at his legs. A donkey. Yeah, no, you need you need that in your backyard. They got one over in Molten. He's they cost about stockings. they cost about fifteen hundred dollars. A real zebra is five thousand hey, dollars. If you get that, it's a good deal, man. Wow. It's a Beetlejuice. <laughs> See, it looks like he's got a Beetlejuice. Yeah. 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 But I figured it would go right into the house. You know, yeah. it's come in the house with us. No. You ride it if you get it. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. They'll write it out to get I, his mail. I'm, I'm sure they, uh, <laughs> that patient is not being delivered. So you no. see how this yes. game works, I mean, gotcha. Yeah, I ask questions because I know everything. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it sounds like it. Sometimes he thinks he knows everything. You, uh, this is a serious <laughs> news story here, but uh, my uh, lead story USA Today today. What is the deadliest city in the United States? Chicago. Chicago. Wrong answer. Baltimore. Baltimore. Detroit. Baltimore is the right answer. 342 deaths last year. You know why? Because the cops stopped enforcing the law. They stopped enforcing really? the law except in emergencies because of Are you that kidding me? Day. I don't live up in that town. Why That's not? because that Freddie Gray with that guy was... Yeah, I know, yeah. Right. Just watch The Wire. It's current now. Mm. The old TV show. Yeah. The tariffs that could be imposed by President Trump could affect car prices by how much? Off. 25%. 20%. 15. 5,000 to price of a new car. Right. Go, That's the same thing as 20%. I think I got that. There you go. <laughs> Man, the guy that she's on. That's two in a row. Never question my mathematical skills. You know, don't ever argue with she's the judge. Right. She's right. She's right. So far. She's right. So far, we got a rookie win in this paper. <laughs> what is the name of the new Dodge coming out? New Dodge. Django. <laughs> Hellcat. What? Well, it's, been it's already out. Yeah. Yeah. The new one, the bigger one coming out. How many horsepower has it got? The D. 800 the horsepower. Show at it. Eight. Was that 800 horsepower. 750. Let y'all have it. 800. 797 would be that. How much will it cost? Uh, uh, about 35,000. 40 grand. Actually, it's only going to be 70,000. Only 70,000. How, how fast can it get? Uh, what's the top speed of it? 179. 205. 225. 203. Oh what every wow. realtor in Limestone County needs to have to get <laughs> yeah. place to place yeah, in definitely. her hurry. Hellcat. I'm sure we can actually get there on time. Editorial in USA Today this morning. Why does the United States suck at soccer? Because we just don't they, care about it like uh, other countries. Even though oh, the that's kids, your opinion, Zach. Even though the kids, you go to the rec center, they got all kind of kids playing over That's there. exactly it. We practice too much. Practice. What team we put the USA out of soccer this year? Mexico. No, Brazil. Croatia. France. Who was it? Paraguay. Panama. It says, adding oh. insult to injury, they lost every game they played, including a 6-1 thrashing by England. I couldn't care less. I know <laughs> Co Cubit's big on Croatia. His, some of his ancestors are from Croatia. Oh. Here we go. It's what is the fastest growing it. sport in America? Cornhole. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He drinking. Hey, I love hearing people say that. Hey, they do it on ESPN. They I got know. the show tournament. Tournament. It's yeah, on the Ocho. Pool tournaments. This pool. Tournament. Really. Dodgeball. Johnson. Football. What? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. You know what? All you got an answer for this too? I don't know. I don't. Kickball. <laughs> I'm stumped. That's going to the U.S. and in jails is pickleball. Is what? Pickleball. Pickleball. They played that. Pickleball. I saw. Played like badminton. With ping pong paddles. Oh. They play that in jail, you I'm said? Like, is it in the Among other inside? things. Right. Poor hell is also popping. <laughs> <laughs> so is tossing the salad. <laughs> oh, oh. Anyway. Oh, oh, move along, move along. Oh. What movie sequel comes out? <laughs> oh, thanks, Greg. A year from today. DG2. Thanks, oh. Zach, for bringing up another dog. <laughs> Top Gun 2. Top Gun 2. What's the name of it? Maverick. Maverick. All right. I didn't know that was coming. Wow. All right. Yeah. Old Joey Chitwood last week ate 74 hot dogs. Chestnut. Chestnut, yeah. That's what I'm Joey Chitwood does on yeah. the show. He does a hunt. <laughs> None of you stunt, man. He ate 74 hot dogs while jumping 20 cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to have a buy. Oh, buy. I forgot to tell you, the most important part, the most important part of this, oh, when you yeah. play the winner, Amanda wins a thing of buying a sausage. Oh, She's in the league, too. She definitely got to win, yes. Yeah. You know why we give these away? <laughs> I think it's our hair. Because my hometown of New Hope used to be named Vienna, and the Burn. Yankees burned it. Burned to the ground. And, and there's a plaque out there that states that. Not the sausage, of course, but it was just the <laughs> That's the name of it. And now, you know, have you been to New Hope lately? Do y'all know where it is? I passed yeah. through there. Yeah, you know that there's a famous person from there. Obviously, that'd be me. Oh. Uh, they're working on my statue out there now. Well, I didn't there. see it. Oh, yeah. I was at the corner. Oh, yes, yes. 
I know it's out there. It. But anyway, we miss it. how much money did he win for eating those 74 hot dogs in 10 minutes? 100000 20000 Because he's won like $800,000 A total of 40000 wow. was in prize money he, with the winner taking $10,000. So we're going to come. As soon as we get somebody to donate $10,000, we are going to have a buy and <laughs> eat sausage right here. What's I the name of the new show coming on MTV for a second season? Redneck Womans of Alabama or something like that. Florida. What? I, is that a real show? Say that. Floribama Shore, actually, is the one that I But what's their number, their number one show? One. Joseph, what did you say about Redneck stuff? Redneck Women of Alabama or something. The Redneck Housewives of Alabama will be on our show coming up within the next two weeks. Really? Because I talked to Helen Evans yesterday, who produced So that's a real really? show. Yeah. No, oh, they didn't ask us. Oh, you have to finish. <laughs> They had 161 had women auditioning. They for did. It. They only picked what? And they eight. only chose eight. Right. West eight. Neighbor, hey, West Neighbors' his wife is part of it. Yeah, West Neighbors' wife is part. She, uh, they show her in tractor commercial, right? Driving tractor. <laughs> I seen her yes. on TV the other day. Anyway, they'll be here, they'll in, be here in the studio coming up. Talk to her yesterday. Who is about to become the youngest billionaire ever? The YouTube kid we, you had on the other day. Billionaire Zach. Mm. I, I, he could be. Facebook guy. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg is he now? She's currently yeah. worth $900 million. Oh, my goodness. She'll be 21 years old August 10th. Oh, Jim. Oh, Kardashian. Which one? Kylie. Kylie is a right answer. <laughs> oh, She's already on the cover of Forbes magazine. Okay, so you know your Kardashians, huh? Yeah. Very little. Uh, how does she make her money? Wow. How, well, good question. How does she, she make her money? She has a lip, yeah. lip, lip plumping, plumping something. Liquid right. lipstick. Kylie's lip uh -huh. kit. Yes. She so, makes that much money off lipstick. Yeah, I'm already <laughs> coming up, sold out in seconds. I'm already coming up with my own life. I've got to come up with something, yeah. man. Come my on. Goodness. Your lips yeah. 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 Lipstick. Sold out in seconds. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Kardashians. How much? Y'all know who her daddy is. Yes. Yeah, Rob Robert. Kardashian. Robert. Robert Kardashian. Jenner. No. 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 Kate. Jenner. Caitlyn. Yeah. Caitlyn's her daddy. Yeah. yeah. Bruce, Bruce Jenner. Jenner. Bruce Jenner. I call him Caitlin. Bruce because he's still Caitlyn. He's still Bruce to me. Kim is worth $350 million. Yeah. Of course. Mama oh. Chris is only worth about uh, $30, $40 million. Only. Chloe's worth $40 million. And Kendall, wow. my favorite, is only worth $18 million. Which one's the, which one's the youngest one? Kylie. The richest one. about to yes. be a Yeah. Unbelievable. They're about to be a baby. And Chris makes 10% of what they get because she's their manager. She what? Chris is the manager. The mother is the manager. Okay. So she I'm going to do a couple of questions to get into my mind. A 26-year-old American tourist Morning, was almost arrested. She was in Austria when they found something in her take-home bag that she tried to get on without realizing what it was. A pickle. What? A pickle. <laughs> they they had a pickle call the bomb squad. A pickle. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> she was fined five thousand dollars. That's all. You gonna keep trip. <laughs> An unexploded W World War Two artillery shell. Oh, okay, now why would she have even tried to bring that? Back? That's stupid. I don't, I don't make them up. I just, you know. Just trying to get on the new show down there in Floribama. No, no. Yeah. All right. Last question. <laughs> Why a woman put on uh, Facebook and everything, and it's kind of went viral, but she was inundated with calls from men that she had done it all wrong. It was about... Which way to put the toilet this. paper. Right. Uh, she put it on the wrong way. She put it on the wrong way. She had it going under when we all know it's it supposed over. to go it's over, 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 right? Yes. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> over. But Unless you have cats or children in the house because they'll do that and it'll we get all over the place. We don't have either in our house. And every time I see it <laughs> under, I immediately change it to over. You do. That's why we have corn cobs on the side. <laughs> <laughs> That would be in your bathroom, in not mine. In white gear. <laughs> in <laughs> That's good, oh, Brad. Brad. Yeah, shut up, Brad. In what year, and all you millions playing worldwide this morning, in what year was the toilet paper roll invented? 1872. 1950. I'm going to let you have it because it was 1888. 1915. It was 1888 to be exact. All right.
just get with it. Right. One last question. Come on, Amanda. <laughs> Huh? Okay. She's on the road. I just went her to skip. Yes. Going for the win. Going for the win. Why is snot green? <laughs> oh, come on. I guess if somebody else can have yeah. that. <laughs> uh, something you eat. Because it's a sign something. of infection. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because, because it's not Most snot is normally clear. <laughs> no, because of pollen, maybe. Oh, green, it's a green chemical. It, it is, it, that means you are healthy if your snot is green because you are successfully really? fighting an infection. So that means if Most it's clear, then you're going green it snot it means sick. you are sick. It's not true. Well, mine's usually That's clear. What oh, well, well, if you are sick, is it yellow? I'm not a no, doctor. No, yellow is the intermediate state. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a doctor. He did sleep at a holiday in Express, though, last night. It's I'm yellow than I used to be a practicing gynecologist. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yes. no, 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 no. Jamie. <laughs> You're awful. And sometimes I... Never mind. We'll You're take awful. it. Amanda, you win. Amanda, oh, win. Yeah. You have your choice. Oh, my fresh bottle of MP2. Yeah, look or, what Sheriff got. Yes. Or brains. Yeah. She's okay. taking I'm going to take this. She takes the van. <laughs> we'll be right back, y'all. Hang on. Lucky lady. back on this Thursday morning. Let's quickly go over that forecast. Only 20% chance of showers in the forecast today. We're glad of that. So today will be a good dry day to get out and do everything that you need to. Uh, about 73 degrees out there already this morning. Temperatures we're going to see around 91, 92 degrees today. 50% chance of rain tomorrow and then there, there is a rain chance every day. But welcome to summertime. These are those scattered showers that can pop up. Some of us may see some rain and some of us may not. Savewithgloria.com. Go check it out. All right, Kim Hodges with me. Amy, good to have you guys up here. Thank you. Thank you. you guys are doing something special. Yes. Thank you all for doing this, too. A night to remember. The Alabama's Veterans Museum fundraiser is going to be taking place July 28th. What do people need to do? Well, we are selling tickets. Um, we have to cut the sales off on the 19th because of the caterer. All right. Uh, but we actually will be... Uh, <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Let's add your microphone where we can hear you better. All right. <laughs> there you go. Help. All right. That'll be good. All right. What I was saying is that on the 28th of July, we're having a um, dinner show. Okay. Okay. And the dinner show, the tickets are on sale now, um, 55 for one, 100 for two. We also are taking back, cause there's some, a lot of people say, well, I would like to do something, but I'm not able to attend. We're also selling the tickets to them and then taking them back and giving them to veterans oh, that's to actually idea. be able to attend. Okay. So uh, we um, are looking for donations. Mm -hmm. uh, looking for sponsors. Sponsors. Uh, we'll take all kinds of uh, any donation actually, will any, not be any, nothing will be refused, refused of course <laughs> uh, we're also looking for some silent auction items okay. uh, the night of the event we're going to have those okay. displayed and people mm -hmm. can uh, bid, bid on, on them. them yes wonderful now you do have tables available too so if there's any businesses out there that want to purchase a whole table yes. definitely consider that yes and um, I am the um, we're with the Alabama, <laughs> Athens Limestone Association of Realtors. Okay. That we're doing this to try to help them out, the Veterans Museum, because right. they are building a new building. And it is desperately needed. There are so many items in the current building, I and know. it's going to yes. be really nice once they get that built yeah. and to be able They're to just to. visit the museum. Correct. Now, um, Amanda mm -hmm. here, she is actually the chairman over this task force that we've put together. Mm -hmm. So she's been 
taking this and just running with it. She's, uh, I think, can explain a little bit more about our entertainment that night. Oh, entertainment too, Amanda. Yes, we've got a guy, Denny Corby. He is a comedy magician. He's Ooh. coming from Pennsylvania. He's been at the Ledges and Burning Tree. So we're excited to have him. And also, we're doing a video that's going to pay tribute to the veterans. So okay. we've asked people if they have a picture of someone mm. that served in the military, then if they'll get that to us, then we can put it in okay. the video. And that'll probably need to be cut off by the end of the week where we can get everything going. Okay. So but we still have week, a little bit of time. Now, I know that. ticket sales are stopping at what, July 19th? 19th. 19th. Mm -hmm. All right. And we have tables, and we have a few more. A uh, table of six is three hundred dollars, and then a table of eight is four hundred dollars. Okay. So we have the same okay. price as tickets as well. Okay. And then we have a art contest mm -hmm. that was for kindergarten through twelve. Fine. And then we've got eleven finalists, and the winner of that contest, their picture will be displayed in a new museum. Oh, it's so that's kind that. of exciting. That is. Yeah. All right, and they're just drawing something to do related yes. to veterans. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, and those have already been picked, and we actually have them online to where that they can uh, actually the public can vote can for vote them. On them. We'll add that what, what that site to the video, and you can see that on Facebook or YouTube. Yeah, and it's five dollars a vote, and it's okay. five votes. Wonderful. And then what a great way for, if somebody you know can't make the event right. and you, you want to just support. donate five dollars. That's a right. good way to help too. Mm -hmm. If you can't, yeah. you know, don't want to spend or can't spend that right. much on a ticket, you can at least do your part and vote on the vote on there right. for $5, right. that'll help So too. we're excited. Yeah. We hope it's going to bring some money in for the new museum. Because, you know, as realtors, we give back to the community. So we volunteer and, you know, do a lot of service. So we're excited to have it in Limestone County as well. Yeah. Do you think a lot of young people still go to the museum? Well, well, the new one is going to be, it's going to be focused for children ages 6 through Super. 18. Yeah. Okay. So they're yeah. going to have like a learning center and they're going to have simulations nice. like you're in a tanker. So right. I think oh, once fun. the new museum gets going, there'll be a lot of school age children that's going. Because they're okay. wanting, wanting to develop people to do military careers mm -hmm. or get with the engineering programs. So that's some of what the new museum is okay. focused yeah. on. Not to mention yeah. learning the history. Yeah. Right. Now, and this is the Alabama Veterans Museum. It's, it's just that it's located here in Limestone County. How it's right down downtown. We're yeah. very fortunate. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people and, don't even know it's here. Uh, that still surprises yeah. me. And it's they, the largest, you know, more than 12,000 people come each year to visit it. So it's the largest attraction in Limestone County. Great. So. Yeah. Well, you guys have been a wealth of information today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Y'all need to go check out the Veterans Museum. You do, that's right. And also get those tickets July 28th. It'll begin 6.30 p.m. What time will the silent auction begin? Is that 6.30 as well? Yeah, it's going to be 6.30 till 9.00 okay. and the event lasts till 10.00. And with the ticket, you do get a very nice dinner, too. So. Yes. yes. Ticket cutoff is July 19th. Don't forget about that. Make sure if you need to get in touch with anyone, to they just call your office? Yes. Call you, they're, Feel free to call me. They can call the board office, um, call Amanda, uh, and we can supply you with our numbers. <laughs> Wonderful. And you can contact us if you need to get in touch with either one of them. I'll be happy to pass along that information. We are. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's What's the market Buyers, market? Seller's market. Oh, it, it is a seller's <laughs> market. We are low on inventory, so anybody thinking about selling their house, we would love to be talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> They'd love to list it. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we'll talk more. We'll head to the kitchen. And if you don't know how to fry squash, we'll definitely show you how to do that. We'll get that grease really hot and ready to go in just a moment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Need a white. You know what? I'm gonna use that white to blow some green snot. That's what I'm gonna do. See what you learned on this program. I mean, come on. Now. What you learned on this program? I did. I thought green snot meant you had you had a sinus infection. According to my information, which I'm usually right 100 percent of the time, almost. That's a good thing. Hmm. Means you are healthy. Hmm. Yeah. Right. It well, means it's fighting. I wouldn't. Ex sample it or nothing like that. What's happening in car shows? Oh, we got some stuff. Uh, you know, there's the cruise ends. You know, you heard it here first. I started telling y'all about cruise ends about four years you ago. You hear everything on this show first. Yes, you yes. Know. It's late breaking news, but Cars and Coffee and cruise ends have really started to take over car shows. Um, so there's a group in Huntsville. I sent Brad uh, the list. 
Uh, they're starting to do one almost every Friday night. You can find really? a cruise in somewhere. Hey, Friday the so, 13th. That's right. Friday the 13th from 6 to 9. This is the Bojangles over on Highway 72 across from the new Kroger, just east of uh, Slaughter Road, Jeff Road. Mm -hmm. So go over and check that out. They've got a huge parking lot there, so plenty of room. But the big show is Indicator. Jamie, you've probably been over to this one many times. Oh, yeah, it's I do a lot of cars. Point Mallard Park. <laughs> Are you telling me you've never been over to this show, the 31st Annual not. Greater Tennessee Valley yeah, Car Show? Yeah, I've been everywhere. He's uh, not been I, there. I bet he has. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> They've been doing it for 31 years. Anyway, he's not. it's a big show. You need to go. <laughs> Take your camera, video. They always have the... Your your video camera. Now. I don't even take that. I don't use those. That's true. Anymore. You use your iPad. Uh, iPad. Uh, back to that back one minute, Brad. One. They they uh, <laughs> they have the Elvis impersonator over at that one. Some well, people have the Tina there. Turner impersonator. Oh, I know him. He's yeah. good. Yeah. Dean. Michael Dean. Michael Dean. Mm -hmm. He's good. Well, he's. Uh, they got one in. Uh, uh, what's the name of the city we live in? Athens. <laughs> Coming up. What's that? Friday night downtown. Hey, speaking of that, uh, before I forget it, y'all know what is, uh, I forgot to ask this, y'all know what is at the farmer's market this weekend, don't you? It's uh, free tomato, tomato sandwich tomato day. day. Oh, man, I hate tomatoes. What? Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Sick. Wait a minute. I do. You drink urine for a living and you hate <laughs> oh, tomatoes. You hate a tomato sandwich. I wouldn't eat a tomato sandwich for a $100 bill. What? Oh. I wouldn't. Brad is I just don't like them, Brad. Dusty don't eat tomatoes either. Now, that's fried that's green that's tomatoes, I can handle You're that. Sick. Really? I don't eat watermelon. I can't even stand See, that's the smell of watermelon. Yeah. I make her get outside and eat watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. make her. I don't make them do anything. And then one last show is the, uh, I learned how to say this name because of y'all, the Mexican restaurant in Priceville called A Chihuahua. <laughs> There's another restaurant called Such and Such. It's easy to say. Yeah, I've heard of that one. But anyway, that show is a, it's a, it's a night show from 6 to 9 over in Priceville, Highway 67. So right. anyway, that's about all I got. All right, Tomato Man. All right, uh, Greg, what's happening with you? When's, when's go cranking back up? August 8th. We've been practicing cross-country all summer. Mandatory. Track, not, you just got married, so you're not practicing on that anymore. Oh, we practice yeah, every day. <laughs> Marriage is a lifetime video. commitment. Yeah. You know? Okay, the second you, keep, time. you keep believing that. You keep believing that. Well, it will be for the rest of my lifetime. That's so, a good, good I don't know attitude. about hers, good but attitude. for mine. So but yeah, so we're, we're uh, ramping up for a cross country season. Our first meet is August 28th oh, all right. down in Moulton. It's a Pepsi mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this weekend, I'm heading down to, I'll be staying. At the location for SEC Media Day, CNN Center. Oh, nice. So, um, and your inside source, yes. your opinion, you say Feinbaum's staying. Yeah. So Feinbaum right. will be staying for the show. All right. Yeah. It's a it it's a bell cow for the show. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be. No, it would it would be disastrous for it ESPN. It would be disastrous. Yeah. Yeah. It would be. All right. So he's just holding out for more money. Is that this contract well, renewed? Well, I really, honestly, this is just my personal opinion. I think he would rather be closer to Birmingham. Mm -hmm. You know, because Charlotte, for all that it is, and it's a nice town, is not an SEC town. Right. Okay. It's it's a ACC town, and so the only reason he went there was because they already had ESPN already had existing uh, building and infrastructure there, a studio. So, because gotcha. um, his preference would be to do it out of Birmingham. Okay. Okay. I heard that too. All right, let's head over to the kitchen where Jamie can learn how to cook. All right, hey, Amy, I got to ask you this question. This is in one of them Dear Abby things that I got the other day. You are a professional hairdresser of the star. Let's give a shout out to Jennifer Cole this morning, too. Lady with the best looking hairdo in uh, Limestone County. Uh, there was an article in there as you get ready to fry some squash. Are these about ready to eat? How much long have we got here? About 10 minutes. About 10 minutes and those will be ready to. 10 minutes, well, I'll be gone home with 10 minutes for now, so you should get cranking. All right, and it said, the article asked, I've been going to the same hairdresser for 20 or 30 years. There it is right there on the screen. And I just want to change hairdressers. But this hairdresser knows my whole family. She knows all my stories. She knows all this and that, all the gossip and all this dude here. And uh, I just want to know how to break up with my hairdresser? The best way is just to uh, tell them. Because if you don't, then they're going to make up something and um, tell it on you. Or they're going to tell all the gossip that you've told them. Now, there would never be any gossip at a beauty shop. Nah. We just tell stories, not gossip. 
But you seem to know a little bit about everything going on in Athens and Limestone County at Salon Eclipse. Everything. Stuff that people don't want you to know, we know. Everything. So the best way for somebody to break up with a hairdresser is just to tell them. Just say, hey, uh, I mean, you can make up a lie and be like, somebody in my family's doing hair now, I got to give them a try, something like that. But just tell them because we're going to see you in Athens. I mean, Athens is a small town, so we're going to see you enough. You got something different done to your hair. Like Gloria, I know that you've had your roots touched up, and I haven't seen you. So, <laughs> kind of like that. But she hasn't, I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what are we doing today? We're, we're going to do okra cakes. Next week. Next week. Yes. I've never heard of that, but I love fried okra, and I love you. All right, what are we doing? We are doing fried squash. You wash the squash, slice it up in rounds. Uh, I always dice up yeah, an onion. Mine crispy now. Oh, they're going to be crispy. They're just, I'm going to let them cook right now, and then I'll turn it on high to get them crispy. Let me go ahead and throw this out there. All you folks that have a garden, I don't. Uh, I grew up on one in New Hope. Don't want to go back there. But if somebody's got some stuff they'd like to donate to a good cause, tomatoes, okra, uh, that's kind of my kind of thing, you know, like that. Do what? Now, so this is ready to, about ready to eat. You're yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, seriously. Now, do you home. still do down-home cooking? I do. I do. Just about two or three times a week, I put a recipe on there. But the rest of the days, everybody else is putting them on there. So it's still going. I need to, uh, There's something I'm going to run a video on, then we're going to come back to the squash. I saw this on AL.com. They did a thing, and y'all may, uh, whether you go to a hometown market which sponsors this portion of the program, uh, whether you go to Publix or whatever, and they did a thing on the eight types of people, it's, they called it a southern thing, that you meet at a grocery store. And they, they go through this little skit with them, and I'm going to show it to you here in just, just a minute. It's, one of them's the person with the coupons who always wants to write a check, or somebody writes a check, or somebody's got coupons, always setting you up. The other two is like the gossiper and all this. So it's a pretty deal. They, they, the squeezer where they t touch everything. You seen it? Yeah, yeah. I saw it last night. Oh, the squeezer, yeah. Well, what else was on there? Because I don't remember it that well. It was the couponer, the squeezer, the one that stops and gossips in the grocery store, asks you everything. Um, you talk to everyone. Yeah, that's him, yeah. Uh, I think that was about it. No, there was eight of them. So anyway, let's go to those as we fry this squash. We'll be back in just a moment. Y'all hang on. So you got a birthday coming up, don't you? Yes, my son's turning nine. Oh my gosh, she's growing up so fast. I know. Uh, what are you guys doing? Um, we're having a birthday party at the house Aww. with slipping slides and bloke houses. Wait, you're getting like the biggest bouncy house. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, how Definitely. cute. Oh, how cute. What well, are you gonna put on this cake? Twenty-five, thirty. 31, 32. I know I have another nickel in here somewhere. You know what? I'll just write a check. What's today? Um, it's the 10th. Have a coupon. And there it is. So 20 bottles of shampoo and triple coupon bonus buys. I think you owe me $3.50. <laughs> no, I see garlic pepper, garlic salt, and garlic powder, but I don't see any minced garlic. I'm in the spice aisle. It's in the produce section? This episode of So True Y'all is brought to you itch free. Mosquito Joe, outside is fun again. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, we'll, we'll leave some of those. <laughs> All right, which one are you? I am the gossiper. No. Yeah. I got to stop and get all the, all the current information. 
I imagine you hear a lot of information at the salon. I hear more information than I need to hear. That's a show we need to start, Jamie. Sure is, because there is a lot of dirt on a lot of people. Why do people feel like they just need to... Why do they just need... Yeah, but that's not true. Why do they just feel like they need to share their life stories with uh, their hairdressers? I think because they come in and they get so relaxed. And most of the time, they know you. So they just... All you've got to do is like keywords. Say somebody's name, they're going to tell you everything they know. So, <laughs> Really? How interesting. You, know, you never know who's sitting in the chair next to you, though, and you're talking away, and you hear a lot of information. You do. Uh, a lot of information that shouldn't be heard, like I said, because then that person in the chair next to you is going and telling what they heard you say. But, yeah, we hear it all, all of it. But it's good. It's fun. <laughs> it's real fun. It keeps you busy. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I love it, every minute of it. Well, have you always enjoyed cooking? I have. Um... Uh, both of my grandmothers always were in the kitchen, and I was with them all the time. So they showed me how to cook, and they both loved it. And that's where my love for cooking came from, was being with them all the time and cooking. That's awesome. Good memories, too. Yes. What, what is your sign? Uh, Amy's Down Home Cooking on Facebook. Well, thank you, Amy. And also, you can get your hair done at Salon Eclipse, located where? On Highway 31 in Athens, right across from Family Security Bank. Well, thank you very much. If anyone needs to get in touch with us, all you have to do is give us a call, 603-4848. Do want to remind you, too, savewithgloria.com. If you're looking for a mortgage, want to refinance, get pre-qualified, or even new construction loans, we can help you with those for sure, and they're located at Bridge Street. Yes, sir. Is that fried squash ready? Here you go. That looks like baked squash instead of fried squash. I like mine crisp. I'm getting crisp. All right, I got about two minutes left. I want to go to a video right now. Have y'all heard about that little yodeling guy? It's got, what, millions of views. Yodeling started at Walmart or something, but he's been on the Grand Ole Opry now. I absolutely just signed a record deal. I think he's eight years old. Is that it, Greg? Eight, Greg? Eight or nine. He's doing Hank Williams, Jr. Hey, I'm going to take a few days off. I'll be back next week. I like these long weekends. But thank you all for getting up with us. Here's that video. See you all next week. calm. Don't go wild about me, cause I, that's already happened. I got a feeling got a blue, oh Lord, and my baby say goodbye. Lord, I don't know what I do, all I do is sit inside, oh Lord, that last day she said goodbye. Well, Lord, I thought I would cry. She do me, she do you, she's got the guy. Dream. I had to thank it all over. I lost my heart, it seems. I've grown so used to you somehow.